Hi, welcome to the walkthrough of RPA Genie. In this walkthrough, we will learn about the data table activities under the programming section. We learn how to use these data table activities by creating a sequence. In this sequence, we will first learn how to create a data table by using the build data table activity, then how to view that data table using the preview data table activity, then we will see how we can add a data row to the data table that we have created, and then we will see how to add a data column to the data table. Finally, we will learn how to clear the data table. So first, we will start off by dragging and dropping the build data table activity. The build data table activity creates a data table. So first, we need to click on edit data table. Click on the edit column option. Click on add. Now for column 1, I will use name. You can use any examples as you want. I am just giving name and data type as string. Next column department again data type string next salary uh, for this I will choose integer click on save now we can see three columns name department and salary now to add values to these columns we click on add and type in the name department itself. Click on save. Now we have created a data table using the build data table activity. Now to view this data table during runtime, we will use the preview data table activity. The preview data table activity lets you to see all the values for all the rows and columns in a table. And uh, see the output that we have uh, that we get from this activity is var data table. That means the data table that we have created is assigned to this variable var data table which is of uh, data table data type and to preview this we have to use the same um, variable var data table so we'll click on save all and run the sequence here you can see uh, the data table has been displayed uh, name department salary and all, all its values have appeared so we'll just go ahead and close it next we'll see the add data row activity the add data row activity adds rows to a specified data table now again for input we are going to add the row a row uh, to var data table so now uh, to do that we have to use square brackets first and given a new name department and salary so again I'm just going to use an example here click on save and run the sequence As you can see, a new row has been added to the previous, uh, previously created data table. This is the new row that we have uh, added by using the add data row activity. So initially it wasn't there. So that is how we use add data row activity. We'll go ahead and close it. Now next, uh, we will just delete this activity and drag in add data column activity. Now, if we want to add a column to the data table, var data table, we can just give in the column name. 
So for instance, if I want to add a column called address, we can just use the column name. Click on save all and run the sequence. Here we can see an extra column has been added address to this existing table. Next, uh, we will see how the clear data to, uh, data table activity works. So as of now, this is our table. This is the table. Now we will drag and drop the clear data table. The clear data table activity clears all the data in the specified data table. So we will just click on save all and run the sequence. Here you can see that all the data of our data table has been cleared and nothing is there. Yeah. So we will go ahead and close this. Now for the next session we will see how we can use the data table filter and merge data table activities. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching.